With Cinema 4D Release 13, navigating your scene is faster, easier, and more intuitive than ever before. Release 13 offers a new cursor-based camera navigation system, which allows you to easily orbit around specific areas of focus because the point of interest is automatically placed on the geometry under the cursor when you begin navigating using the Alt or 1, 2, and 3 hotkeys. The center camera mode has been enhanced and offers a style of navigation where the point of interest follows the view rather than the cursor, remaining at the center of the screen and at a fixed depth. Object and camera based rotations from earlier versions of Cinema 4D are still available too, and you can quickly switch between camera modes using the menu commands, shortcuts, or modifier keys. Extensive preferences allow you to fine tune the point of interest and cursor placement as well as reverse the orbit direction. In prior versions of Cinema 4D, the navigation speed was inconsistent and in certain cases the camera would seem to lock up. R13 offers faster and smoother navigation by dynamically adjusting the speed of the camera based on the distance to the point of interest. In much the same way, the new dolly to cursor option allows you to keep the point of interest in view as you dolly the camera into and out of the scene. This behavior can be enabled for all views or just the orthographic views. In addition to the camera navigation enhancements, there's a new indicator that appears in the view when the currently selected elements are off screen to indicate their location relative to the current view. Clicking this indicator immediately frames the selected elements. There's also a new option to synchronize the orthographic views within a view panel, which links the position and zoom of the views to keep the same portion of the scene in focus. There's been a number of enhancements to the object axis and the way you interact with objects as well, and you can find out more about these in the Release 13 Modeling Enhancements video.